is where we hold them. This is where we fight. This is where they die. And the shield boys. <laughs> Remember this day, man. For it will be yours for all time. You know, battles like this could have been avoided with better communication. Take the War of 1812, fought between American and British forces over southern and midwestern territories. The war actually ended at the end of 1814 when the Treaty of Ghent was signed on December 24th. But fighting continued well into 1815 because it took so long for communications to reach military leaders. In fact, the Battle of New Orleans took more than 2,000 lives. Well, we know communications in the military have improved dramatically. And with the advent of cell phones and mobile devices, communication is only getting better. There are more than 100 million smartphones in the U.S. alone. And that trend is only continuing to grow. Where this is all headed, nobody knows for sure, but the notion that every single individual on planet Earth will one day have a mobile device is extremely realistic. And now phones are getting smarter and smarter. Operating systems actually run on your phone. Applications are running every single moment on your phone, and they're converging with the physical world around you. Where is this trend headed, and how will it change your life? Well, let's take a simple task, like going to the grocery store. You make a list, you head to the store, you find what you're looking for, and voila, you can eat again. Great thing about cell phones is you can call and find out if you're getting the right item. But what if, what if your cell phone could actually create your list for you based on sensors underneath your most important items? What if your grocery cart was automatically filled based on those items? What about your health? How connected to your mobile device will that one day be? Your exercise, what you take in, in terms of food, in terms of drinks, how connected will the physical world really get with mobile devices? And what will it do for our everyday lives? Well, these are just some of the questions that we aim to answer at the MIT Central Coast Forum on March 17th. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, we'll be serving green beer. Networking begins at five o'clock with the area's leading investors, entrepreneurs, educators, and community builders. The program begins promptly at 6 p.m., followed by a question and answer. We hope you join us, and please RSVP at MITCentralCoast.com. Thank you.